Hey guys, welcome back to the Conservative Patriot. I am the Conservative Patriot. My name is Keith. So I want to thank everybody again for subscribing. It's been uh, a crazy couple days since my my walk away video went out on the walk away campaign um, YouTube page. It's been been crazy the support and kind comments everybody's had uh, for the uh, the video. So thank you very much for that. What I want to talk about today is. Democrat-controlled cities across the country, and it, and it really came to the forefront when President Trump called out Elijah Cummings regarding his district in Baltimore, which is obviously a complete dump. And it begs the question: Where is all the money going? What what are you doing? Why are you what what is going on down there? Um, you you talk a good game, man, but you're not doing anything for your own constituents. Or if you are, you're giving the money to the wealthiest parts of your district and not to the people who are living in basic squalor. I, I've seen the news. It is not pretty. Um, don't tick off President Trump, man. He will come down on you and call you out. And I'm glad he did because look what it's done. It's brought Baltimore and, this, and Elijah Cummings' district to the forefront across the nation. And hopefully, things will get done, because this guy looks like a complete turd as a congressman. I mean, obviously he is, because he hasn't done anything. You know, as a congressman or a congressperson, you're supposed to do um, good things for your district or where you live. It's not happening, um, and it's, it's not happening in a lot of places across the country. I live in Connecticut. And a lot of people go, oh, you live in Connecticut. That's a really wealthy state. Well, no. that's Those numbers are skewed because if you take one county in Connecticut, uh, which is called Fairfield County, it's it's called the Gold Coast, which borders New York City, th there are a lot of people that live there that are either actors or actresses or they work in New York City and they have high-end jobs as CEOs or whatever on Wall Street. So when they take their incomes from New York City – but they live in Connecticut, it absolutely skews um, how this state is portrayed. Because there's Litchfield County in the western part of the state and Wyndham County in the eastern part of the state where I live, and we are all hardcore Republicans. And then you have this one corridor, Fairfield County, New Haven County, Hartford County, that goes up, and it's a complete blue line because the, that's the... Highest population density goes right up through those cities, and it's all run by Democrats, and they're all bringing those places down the tubes. So if you look at Hartford, Connecticut, Hartford, Connecticut has like the highest crime rate in the country right now. Maybe it's not the highest crime rate, highest homicide rate in the country right now, over Chicago. I hope that number. Hope that. Hope that I have that fact right. I read that the other day. I couldn't believe that there were more homicides in Hartford than in Chicago so far this year. Again, run by Democrats. Keeping people down, saying, oh, we're going to do great things, but it doesn't happen. So, you know, over time, people start re re um, moving towards crime. They need to get food for their families. They need to do things that in an economically and socially sound environment wouldn't happen. So, places like Chicago, Detroit, San Francisco, all Democrat controlled. What is going on with these places? Look at Detroit. Detroit's a good um, place to start because they have been run by the Democrats for 50 years plus. And look where it's gone from. It's gone from a great city when it had the, the car industry there um, when it was booming. Now it's just, it, it, it looks like a Chernobyl site. It looks like it was bombed out by a nuclear bomb. It, it is horrible. And there's other places across the country. I used to travel a lot for work, and I would go up to Buffalo, New York. And Buffalo is the same thing. You look at Buffalo, you drive in, you're like, man, what is going on? Abandoned buildings, abandoned businesses, all kinds of um, economically downtrodden um, neighborhoods. Same thing. Democrats. They... They always preach that, hey, we, we have the, the economically and the, and the socially disenfranchised in our best interests. 
but really do they or is it, is it failed policies is it talking a good game and just ignoring the facts what is going on I'm glad President Trump brought up Baltimore because maybe now other cities who are run by Democrats will go uh oh uh are, are we in the crosshairs next because we're not doing such a hot job here either I really hope that happens it's not going to they don't care it's all about power it's all about it's all about keeping people under control and and saying oh we're gonna do this trust me trust me no this time we're gonna do it I promise I promise we're gonna we're gonna take care of you this time and then nothing happens money goes in their pockets to their friends who the heck knows where the money goes but seriously we'll do better next time just vote for me again I'll do better I'll do better. It's like a kid who got in trouble. I promise not to do it again. And then they do it again. I think there's an awakening happening right now within these cities. I think the people who are living in these places, such as Baltimore, such as Detroit, San Francisco, maybe not so much San Francisco. I don't think they're going to wake up anytime soon. They seem to be, I don't know, lost. They're letting people crap in the streets. All right. I mean, that's, it's going way too far. So, but but I've seen enough interviews with people in Baltimore going, yeah, it's not like Elijah Cummings says. We're not living in rainbows and unicorn land over here. It is downtrodden. It is rat infested. There is garbage everywhere. These places need to get control of their cities. These cities need to vote out these Democrats. They need to put somebody in who will take care of them and and for the party of we're gonna help it's not working it's not working at all because you know what they're not the party we can help they're the party of keeping you down so that's my take on that I don't want to keep this I don't want to keep my videos too long but man I could talk all day about economic and socially deprived cities and states in this country and if you look at all of them, for the most part, I would say 90% of them are run by Democrats who just have failed policies because they lead with their emotions and not with logic. They, they, they cannot run the country. They can't do it. It's been proven many, many, many times. So let me know what you think in the comments. Um, hopefully I'll have another video tomorrow talking about more conservative-minded stuff. And uh, I hope you guys have a great night. Talk to you soon.